Now, as you can see, we have made our air pan for our calendution hood. Now, unfortunately, I wanted to go a little bit different route than this when we initially started, but because of the hood and the design of this specific hardwood show series hood, and it's mainly because this larger piece right here that isn't on a typical cow induction hood well that got in our way so we had to go a little bit different route now the original plan was just use an air cleaner spacer bring the air cleaner up higher make the pan then just put the foam around it real simple but since we had to have an offset base and then we still couldn't run the air cleaner right spacer like we wanted to because it caused interference problems we made it like this now this what we did was we took our measurements what we did was we measured with the air cleaner on from the back side of the firewall to the back side of the air cleaner so I knew where I wanted and then I measured again to where I wanted in front of the air, air cleaner which was about an inch in front of the air filter and then it sets off about four inch, four and an eighth inch from the back of the firewall so that tells me where my air cleaner is sitting how big I was going to make the piece. Now our cal induction was about 23 wide at the tip there at the top so I made it wider at the back and I narrowed it down and made it a little slimmer in the front because my original setup the mock-up I had it was bulkier and square and it just did not look good so went with this what I did was I started with the piece, one piece of flat aluminum, cut it, radiused it to all the measurements that I wanted. Then I went and took measurements of the outside radius of that piece and cut a long enough piece to go all the way around it. And then I figured out my height, which this Moroso air pan foam is about four inches. So I made this about four inches and it actually fits just about perfect because this is sitting about a half inch the phone's about a half inch on the air pan here so with that half inch down in there so we got four inches here technically three and a half here and it seals off so there is a little bit of measurement in play you have to take your time depending on your setup and the measurements is going to vary from setup to setup like on this one with the offset air cleaner base well everything had to come out for a little bit more in fact I couldn't put air cleaner spacer I just had to make the walls taller on the side to accommodate for that but now other setups you could probably just get away with taking a flat sheet of aluminum pop riven it to the bottom of the air cleaner and then putting your air pan foam that's simple that's the easiest way to do it Sometimes you can get away with that. You can get away with that a lot easier on a car than you can a truck. Now, I welded mine on the inside, which if you don't have access to an aluminum welder or can't weld aluminum, and you want to do this route where you have a nice big round side, what you do is every couple inches, you add about another inch of material and you'll bend it at a 90 and then you'll use that tab to pop it around the bottom side of it to attach it to your flat base so there's multiple ways of doing it i just went and welded it a lot quicker a lot easier and i'll show you in a second but in the back side i used the rest of the air pan foam i got adhesed it to the bottom of the pan to seal off from the back side of the firewall where it kind of concaves in but it does shut it seals and there should be enough air for that motor to breathe coming from the cow induction and that'll be cool fresh air of course which is what we're going for plus the look it actually looks pretty good I think let's give you a real quick look of it Now honestly, it may seem like a challenge to build one of these, but it's really not. 
Now I know people say, why do the cal induction when you can get a air cleaner with twin snorkels and have ram air? Well, the unfortunate part of that is if you've seen one of my earlier videos, we did a review on one of the Spectre cold air intake, uh, muscle car intakes, air cleaner combos, and uh, honestly it sucked. It bogged my motor down. It, it wasn't it didn't use a whole filter is limited to what it could use it just wasn't really worth the the money for it this is a lot cheaper setup and honestly if you have a cal induction especially if you're it's not a daily driver you may as well use it now my other truck it had a different setup we'll show you some pictures of it but it was a daily driver glass tech advertised four inch cal induction which was way taller than this is actually probably closer to five and a half six inch tall cal induction and I had a different setup on it where I had an air cleaner riser and I had it panned and air the air pan foam up in the hood so all you had to do is shut it and it sealed and I drove it daily with no issues so something like this you could still drive daily at least I never had trouble, trouble driving daily with the cow induction functional hood through the rain and everything which if you're familiar with Arkansas in the springtime it rains a lot so I drove it daily never had any issues well, I hope you liked this video if you liked it go ahead and hit the like button and be sure to subscribe and as always thanks for watching